Boston's European Bioenergy Research Institute is the UK's largest research centre, focusing on the scientific and technological aspects of biomass conversion and utilisation for the production of renewable power, transportation fuels and bio-derived chemicals, underpinned by advanced clean catalytic technology and innovative green chemistry. I'm Adam Lee, I'm a Professor of Sustainable Chemistry here in Aston University and I operate a large research group that's based within the European Bioenergy Research Institute. So modern society faces a number of key challenges, for example in the areas of energy, health, associated medicine, environmental pollution and materials. And new science and engineering is needed to address all of these challenges. So the projects that we operate within the Ebury building in the field of catalysis span the full gamut of societal needs. So we have, for example, projects that are aimed at addressing the development of sustainable biofuels. So producing liquid transportation fuels that are indistinguishable from gasoline or diesel, but actually from a renewable waste biomass source. So there's been a lot of concern over recent decade over the food versus fuels debate. And of course, that's because biofuels, things like biodiesel, were originally developed through using waste, or sorry, through using corn, for example, uh, which of course is also used as a food source. So our group focuses on moving away from that kind of research approach and looking for feedstocks that are actually associated with waste. That could be municipal waste from cities or agricultural waste. Taking that waste, which is typically in the form of, for example, straw, processing it and then using advanced catalysts to transform it into liquid transportation fuels that you can just put as drop-in alternatives to gasoline and diesel directly into modern car engines. The university is making strategic investments to create a thriving research environment that promotes scholarship and generates critical mass and research capability. This ethos is exemplified by the £16.5 million European Bioenergy Research Institute, EBRI. Karen Wilson plays a vital role as EBRI Research Director and Professor of Catalysis. My particular role as research director is to look for research opportunities with companies who produce waste biomass um, and this may be wastes from for example food manufacturing um, or even tobacco from agricultural sources and look for opportunities where they can convert that waste into either fuels or high value chemicals. Um, and what we work with here is a range of uh, academics who have interests in business where they would look for the economic viability and also chemists, chemical engineers and bioscientists. And one of the challenges with biomass conversion is that it is an interdisciplinary science. So you need to bring all these people together under one roof. And that's exactly what EBRI does. EBRI hosts over 15 postdoctoral researchers, 15 graduate students and 11 academic staff, including several newly appointed independent researchers from chemistry and engineering backgrounds and supports a team of professional staff engaged in business engagement and development and outreach activities. So hi, I'm Rima and I'm a PhD researcher in Surface Materials and Catalysis Group. Um, my key aim of my research is design of effective photocatalysts in carbon dioxide reduction and water splitting reactions. And the key challenge in this project is low cost of abundant benign, especially benign to nature materials that work really well in artificial photosynthesis and hydrogen production reactions. The research environment is both motivating and stimulating to be a part of, embracing a culture of cross-disciplinary cooperation and teamwork. Well, my enthusiasm for working in Ebury generally comes from the fact that I'm a big believer in the fact that we need to have these renewable fuels to assist us in uh, battling climate change. So if we can work together, so the, the engineers that work here getting the pyrolysis technologies working and then the people studying the catalysis and the upgrading of the fuels, we're doing this all together in one place and for that, you know, that's pretty good to have chemists and chemical engineers working side by side in this institute like this. It's fantastic. Aston has invested heavily in state-of-the-art facilities and instrumentation to ensure the highest quality research infrastructure possible. For our research is very experimental, experimentally intensive and so of course we are very instrumentally um, sensitive to. So we need you know, high performance equipment that can deliver reliable, robust um, and unique capabilities really. So the centre in which I am based probably has the U UK certainly and probably one of Europe's best catalysis research centres. We have infrastructure that allows us to identify materials from the atomic scale through to the large 
tens of kilo production. And to identify particularly chemical products, which is the key focus of my research in catalysis, we need to have instrumentation that's able to separate and identify quantitatively key new chemical products. And in this instance, gas chromatography and HPLC as well uh, form really the mainstay of our research analysis equipment. Shimatsu, of course, are one of the world's leading analytical instrumentation suppliers, particularly to the chemical sector. And over a number of years, we've been working with Shimatsu now, trying to optimize our systems and our processes, and also take advantage of new technology, for example, the trace error system that Shimatsu's developed, which is unique in terms of its capabilities for detecting very low concentrations of products. And many of the chemistry that we're working with is very highly developmental. And so, of course, you're only making sometimes a small amount of material that you have to identify very carefully. Uh, and in particular, one of those projects that it's relevant to is in the area of artificial photosynthesis. The notion that you can capture the power of the sun and transform it into useful chemicals and fuels for today's needs. Aston University's research and enterprise vision is to develop an outstanding environment and institutional capability for training researchers, delivering world-leading research with impacts to address societal challenges and industrial needs, and exploiting knowledge via partnerships with stakeholders and enterprise. I think a lot of people have a rather negative impression of chemistry and chemical engineering. Actually, chemistry is one of those core sciences which allows us to transform the planet to do good and at its heart it allows us to focus on the area of sustainability, essentially developing new chemistries, new science, new technologies to enable the next generation of people on this planet to have a better and more productive and more sustainable life. To find out more information about exciting opportunities with Aston University in Ebury, please contact 0121 204 4036 or visit www.aston.ac.uk forward slash Ebury.